Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing Corpse Party. Let's get right into it. Bring me more! You'll do whatever I ask of you! What? I don't care if you're innocent! You're listed as buried what? They're mine! I'm sure not sharing what's like to you! Clean up is a real pain, you know? Have some pity. Uh, what's up? Fight it, Shinozaki! Oh, what the? That really hurt! I believed in you! Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying! That poor girl, she's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Ayumi is staring at you as if transfixed with an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. What the? The stall is pitch black inside. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It's almost like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Shinozaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Cinema. Ugh. What's all this smoke I see? Get out of the stall right this instant! Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what? I'm sorry. You're a real problem child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? Heh. <laughs> Disowned by your parents? Living on your own? Got no friends? You never go to class? Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they've never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax as them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they've become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat this guy, then drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they are good mothers and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> hmm? What's with that look? I've never hit a teacher before. Oh well. First time for everything. <laughs> Mr. Stubata? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Hmm? Shinazaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Allie's so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> that guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain and butt it may be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end, just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly? Huh? Why are you crying? Ah, uh, sorry. 
Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah? I'm Shinozaki from class 1-3. Sorry to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey! When you told him the vice prince was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her, no matter what happens. This must be a test, to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Why are you doing this? Answer me! What? What? Shinozaki! Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. So, warm. Kishinuma? Where, what? Shinozaki, you are... Huh? Oh, is it you? Are you back? Huh? What, what do you? So what you're saying? Yeah, so far all the corpses we found in here have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of- Mm. The next thing I knew, I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't you just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. It was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And then I voided my bowels, and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. <laughs> Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. <sighs> well, we searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, it's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Oh, we got her back! Oh, no. Okay. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> really? <gasps> <laughs> That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Get away! You need to run quickly! And my homework teacher's the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death throughout excessive or One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mess was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. Of these children, one was when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. <gasps> these ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. 
The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Uh, Suzumoto, you have to stop this! Don't let your emotions get the better of you! No, stop! Hey, what's going on? Shinazaki! Yeah, what did you do? Ugh. Juan! Huh? 